Hi, this is Mike Schwartz from Glue, and in this short demo, I'm going to show how to set up the Glue server for two-factor authentication, and I'm going to use Duo Security's um, authentication mechanism, which is a good example of a two-step authentication. So just a quick diagram. Um, the Glue server is very flexible and supports a number of different um, two-factor authentication services. Basically, as long as the two-factor mechanism has an API that we can call, or an SDK in Java or Python, or some other way to, to, to call it on the system, um, we can support it using what's called a custom authentication script. Let me switch my browser to um, the Glue server itself um, is protected um, with OpenID Connect, and so it's, it's just sort of a good example. Let me log in. And in the first step um, for Duo Security, I'm presented with my username and password credentials, which um, is authenticated versus LDAP. In the second step, um, because I have a mobile phone associated with my account, um, I can request an out-of-band notification. So I can request a phone call, uh, SMS text, or because I, I have a mobile app installed, I can request a push. So let me do that and my phone dings, and I get a little message that looks like this, where it says, this user is trying to log into the server from this IP address and geolocation. I will approve it on my phone. So, And then this is the OpenID Connect scope authorization. I'll allow it. And now I'm in the Glue server. So let me show how you configure authentication in the Glue server. Um, we can navigate to Manage Authentication. And here we can, if we simply have an LDAP server, we can just provide the LDAP host name and, and port and bind DN and other information. You can specify a default type of authentication. Note, you can define multiple types of concurrent authentication. If you have something fancier than LDAP, you can define what we call a custom authentication script. And these are written in Jython. Let me show the one for Duo. So basically, um, you just paste your code in here. Um, the reason we used um, Jython here, our server is in Java, but we decided that it would be more agile to let the administrator um, use an interpreted language like Jython in case they wanted to add a print statement. They wouldn't have to compile and deploy and if you have a cluster, it can be hard to compile, deploy new new files to uh, in the cluster. So with the interpreted approach, because the the script is in the configuration, it can be replicated. Um, note that Glue server supports um, both interactive and services authentication. Um, interactive is where there's a redirect to a web page, um, think SAML. And uh, it, services is where the, um, the client, either the mobile or, or web application, is actually collecting the username and password or some other credential and sending it. We also allow some custom script to be installed for logout. So if you want to um, um, clean up sessions, you know, clean up perhaps logout of an, a legacy SSO like SiteMinder or CAS, you can do that here. Um, so in, in the script, you can define your constants in the properties files. This is useful um, so that um, you know, if you write the script, the developer won't have to change any of the code. Let me show this code in a, in a different um, um, editor. So, so note, um, in Jython, you can use either Java classes or Python classes. Um, Duo provides us with a very nice um, Python API that wraps the web services REST calls. Um, in Python, this is how you define the interface. So the class um, basically inherits this other class. So it, it requires, um, the interface requires that you implement a couple of methods. Of course, the most important method is authenticate. Um, authenticate returns a Boolean, you know, true or false, if the person successfully authenticated. Um, now, note that Duo is a two-step authentication. You could have a two-factor, one-step authentication. Think of RSA tokens. You put in your, your PIN number, 
and then you put in the token ID into the password field, but it really happens in one step. Um, Duo, in the first step, you answer, you enter your username password. In the second step, there, the, there's an out-of-bound notification sent, and we have to wait for that. Um, so in step one, um, we use the code to, to validate the password. We have some Java code for this. In this case, it's a local password, but it could be your external Active Directory server or any, any server. Um, we are doing something a little bit fancy here because um, for this customer, um, they didn't want to Duo authenticate everybody. So they have a special group called the Duo group. And um, basically, so if the person's in here, they get two-factor two authenticated, two-step, I should say. And if they're not, they can use a one-step authentication. So the weird thing about this script is that in some cases, it's a one-step authentication, and in some cases, it's a two-step. Um, in step two, um, it's pretty easy. We call the Duo API. It's just one line, um, and uh, that validates that the person has entered that we're expecting has entered their out-of-band um, authentication, and we're good to go. Um, so we can return true. Um, well, that gives you an idea of, of um, the the functionality of the Glue server. Note that you can add whatever business logic you want in here. You could add um, perhaps so you call an API. Um, we recently talked with a vendor who does collect some data and can do a Bayesian analysis and tell you within a 94% likelihood if the um, authentication is fraudulent. Or you could decide to not allow authentications from um, outside your country. So there's a lot of opportunity for APIs to be called or other um, adaptive rules to be implemented for authentication to really allow your organization to get the exact workflow that you need um, for authentication. So that wraps up the demo. Um, and if you'd like to find out more, um, please visit our website, um, glue.org. Thanks.